let's see, I'm basically the map lady. I've been working with maps for 13, 14 years. I call myself a counter cartographer. I use what looks like traditional mapping to tell very different kinds of stories. Maps have this history as being a tool of power. It's a very top-down power. Maps are used to represent things that the person who commissions the map basically owns. And for me, I'm trying to bring other voices into mapping. People don't question maps very much, and that's part of their power. One of the reasons why actually I like mapping or I'm interested in mapping is that it helps us understand large complex systems. Looking at maps as a way of using geography and something that's very familiar to people, like geographic form, as a way to draw them into other kinds of stories, which aren't necessarily just geographic, but they're more about um, the politics of space, about social justice issues that are always inherent in space, but sometimes totally invisible. This is Area of Detail. Area of Detail explores land use issues in the Arctic due to climate change. This project looks at six different migratory routes of humans, animals, and industry throughout the history of the Wood River Valley in Idaho. Sightlines is an alternative tour map of Washington, D.C. Where my projects come from, usually it's because I have an experience in some sort of space that really grabs me for some reason, and then I just get completely obsessed. And so, you know, I do the usual research, like I look on the internet and I read books and look at pictures and things like that, but I also, like, site-specific research is very important, so I always need to go to the place itself. There's a very high level of map literacy in this country and other places where I work or where my work is shown or where I do work, and so I'm using that and taking people's map literacy a little bit for granted and, their, and, and, and understanding that people take maps for granted, that they don't necessarily question what they see on a map. I want people to think about space differently, the space that they're in, or a space that they're somehow connected to. And I want, what I want them to do is think about the politics of that space, to feel something about that space that they didn't feel before.